That's right, man. If you just fool around with him, learn how to play it. So um, what I'm trying to get at was uh, I was, I've always come in and warm up on, on Red's bass and fool around, and they were listening to the record. I couldn't hear the record too clear, so I ignored it. And Johnny came on, hey, man, hey, the, play that thing again, that Blanton thing. I said, what Blanton thing, man? I got very drunk. Yeah. He said, that thing, you know, you playing the Blanton thing. We always had a fight. I said, man, I never heard him yet. I said, I heard he can blow, you know, because I, and yes. Lady Wilcar, a piano player girl, had told me how great he was. And in those days, we weren't jealous of great bass players, man. We, you know, like, of course. today you got another thing going with cats. It's like they hate you if you, they think you can yeah. play. And I don't feel envy because Oscar Pettiford wasn't like that with me, man. We had we sure, complete love, man. I know. So finally, Red explained to him that I was a student and just learned to play, and I probably didn't know what I was doing. And so he said, well, just fool around and do what you're doing. I said, well, I do it different every time. Woo, see? He said, well, do it different every time, but the next time when I tell you stop, keep holding that thing, you know? And so I said, people, baby, do baby, the thing on Jack the Bear, this thing. Yes. Was, on those days, that was bad on bass. No bass players were playing across the instrument, and I didn't know what I was doing, true enough. Yes. And so they got it and said, well, man, how you learn that? I said, well, I'm just playing what I felt, you know? I know that everybody knows and you know that you can recognize an angry sound in a person's voice or a frightened sound. That's right. Or a person's con you know, a contented sound or a nervous sound, like my voice usually is well, at a certain time. Yes. Not usually, I should yes. say at a certain time. Yes. And th these are the first things that a, a musician should look for. I'm trying to say this because I think I do have something special in music, and I was ch I'm ashamed, of, not ashamed, but a little shy to talk, to, to mm -hmm. speak, to mention. Mm -hmm. But it goes back to the question you asked about hypnosis and all that. I'm afraid there is something like that. I, I don't know what it is because uh, first is Joe Glazer. It's been so funny to tell you all this kind of story. Go ahead. Said that two of his agents didn't like me. He says, he's been trying to tell them to book me, this is years ago, to come out here as band. And so finally, the fellow said, I'm sorry, I just don't like Charlie Mingus. When he's in a room, I feel miserable. Yeah, see, and the, the, only one guy said this. The other one never even commented why. And I begin to notice myself that in certain moods, I walk into certain rooms and certain things happen. I've never done it to you, but I don't know if anybody can do it. And I watch certain people come in the room. Like Bird at a certain time couldn't make the whole room feel the way he felt. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. So, before he even gets his horn in his hand, I've seen Bud and, and, my, and Bird, qu quiet Bird land down to a certain point where you could tell the audience, uh -huh. gee, like, you know, it's kind of miserable agony going on in these two people. Uh -huh. And yet Bird could contain himself. So I started experimenting to see what I could do now it's very easy, I found, to do it in the room. The, the people see me and, and, and let the thoughts run to my mind. And I have I've even sat in places and, I, and got people, the audience to come completely quiet. Now the show place, I experimented and didn't even come into the room and say and meditate and say, I'm coming out in a few minutes. The band's name of the band saying, I like you people to quiet down and have everything. Maybe I'm nuts, you know. Yes. But I've seen at times when on a Saturday night I could do this. And feel myself go out of my body almost into the room of the people, and like they say, he's coming on, you know. And mm -hmm. then I come out, you can just the sudden quiet, quietness in the room, you know. Uh, it's yeah, I don't know how it's, but it sure yes. is. And, and yes. I'm trying to say now that in music, I could play a sad thing, you'd recognize it because you're used to that. And I could play angry, yes. to, to I could play happy little ditties like I do for my baby, you know? Yes. There's all kinds of emotions to play in music, but the one I'm trying to play is very difficult now because I'm trying to play the truth of what I am. And the reason why it's difficult, it's not difficult to play the, the mechanics of it, it's because I'm changing all the time. I'm going through... Uh, I leave my analyst, I mean, you know, and I, I come back to him. I think he's completely off, and I think he's completely right. Mm -hmm. And remember I told you that this double woman, and all of a sudden I'm saying, Lord, I know I'm wrong? Man, this is the most sincere album I've done in my life. I, in fact, I had a feeling I was going to die, man, not because I did this album for you. I had a feeling that if I don't pull out of what I'm into, I want to tell you this, man, because maybe I might, and you, you know, that I've been going through a, a psychological thing or spiritual I don't know yes, which, man. It's, yes. 
trying to reach a contempt and contain myself that I know that you seem to have. I, I know they can pull you off. Not like when your brother, when you thought your brother, you get off for a second, but you got this certain thing that you always can call yourself back and say, let me contain myself. Yes. Automatically. Yes. But no one ever told me that. I never had any. Yes. And it's good I talked to you about this. I, didn't, I never had any idea or father image that sit around and was cool about anything. Anything that's something wrong, he knocked it down, you know? Yeah. This, and, and what well, I, I never felt any love in my in my family. I, I finally remember the day I even gave it up. Really? I tried to get my father. And, yeah, really? my mother tried. She was a stepmother, but she tried. And when I found he announced that she was our stepmother and things, I found out that that man, even today in my life, not that I hate him, it's just I had nowhere to say. Well, what am I supposed to be like? He never even told me that the world was like it was. He never said about black or white. He never told me anything, man. He never even tried to ball my fists up. And, I, and people thought I was a coward because one day a kid wanted to fight me. And I said, all right, come on. I, you know, I saw people fight, so I did like that, man. Yes. And I looked at this cat's man hand, and it looked like a big club. And yes. I looked down his fist, and I said, ah, and ran, you know. Yes. Well, and no one really knew what was going, going on. I wasn't a born coward. I just knew that this is inadequate with That's what right. this cat has got. That's right. And let me get out of here and try to figure out what he's doing. That's right. I mean, that, you, know, you weren't prepared. No, man. And so I, want, I, I don't care. You, you can write about this. This is, what I, this is what my music is. I felt just like I feel now when I went to Bellevue one time. But I'm not going because I know that's not where to go. And I, I went, it took three or four hours that man let me in. I'm begging him. Say, well, maybe I'm going to go crazy. But right now I feel like I need some help and you can give it to me. And, uh, some answers I need answered. Mm -hmm. Like I kept having this reoccurring dream that I was in behind bars, in pr like a prison, and, yes. and I, the helpless, I get to climb up, grab these bars, and I wasn't no strength. I'd fall back down. Well, when my answers that I was going to, after you know, after he got me out, you gonna talk? I discovered this was not in bars. This was a baby's crib. You dig it? I mean, this course, is very, very frightening thing, man. I'm trying yes. to tell you what this music is about, man. Because it, it, if, I, if I had something about like my child in there, it would all be down there. Because I was conscious and aware of my mother's death, my real mother's death, mm -hmm. in, in bed, of sucking her breast and having it turn something wrong. Yes. And it, in other words, she must, wherever it was, there was a, uh, they took me and put me in a bed, and I was crying to get back to her, hungry, and she was dead, man. This I do know my, my aunt has verified that. They don't even know how I know all this. I, this is why I went to Bellevue. I haven't told about this because I was trying to figure out what the hell kind of dream is this? I'm sucking this woman's bosom, you know, and uh, I, you see, because your mind don't know if you're big or little. It just remembers the, the bosom. And it, you start spitting and things, you know? And then the next thing I know, someone picked me up. And man, it's not really a dream. This is uh, something a vision like, man. Yes. And then uh, they, I saw them carry my mother out. That's when I got scared. I said, man, I know I don't know this. And I went to Bellevue and asked for help. And my analyst thought very little. He says, well, I didn't tell him what it was. I tell him, he says, well, your mother died. I know you told me that. Wouldn't you tell me about her death. And as soon as he said that, I said, man, this can't be. He says, well, were you, you, was there any bottles in the bottle? He just sucked bottles. No, I'm a bosom baby. So I called my aunt and find out, you know. It's amazing. It's amazing that, 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 that you could remember. Well, man, it's awful weird because, see, now my stepmother, my father made her jealous because she got and put, he put flowers in her grave all the time. And he accused, got mad at her because she took a picture of her, of her down. And so she began to bug me with a thing about, uh, I know she called me, man. See, I got ears. She said, Charles, that old time voice. Yes. Charles. So I come running home from the kids playing. I said, Mommy, you called me? My stepmother. No, I didn't call you. See, my mother just like a witch. Oh, my stepmother, just like a witch. And she, she today, man, look just like the kind of witch. If she had the hat and the broomstick, she'd be bad. <laughs> you know, she, I mean, you know, I'm serious. I'm not putting her down. She knows it, man. In fact, I told her when I went to see her in California. She said, uh huh? <laughs> she said, that to me in the hat. I said, oh, yeah, she's bad, dude. So she, I, I said, Mama, you call me. Come on. She said, no, son. Only thing I don't think that must be your dead mother calling you and telling you be a good boy and look out. 